you never stop preparing for, for a race or for the next season. You know, even in the off season, we always have our attention turned on what's next to come. Uh, and certainly the minute St. Petersburg was over, we focus on Barber. The minute Barber's over, we focus on Long Beach. That's the way it goes. And really, you know, our focus all year round is always on the Indy 500. You know, that's kind of the event that we never look away from. Uh, but you always have to be preparing. One event always leads into another. What you do in one event could affect the next. Um, but the big picture is every single event equals the championship. And we need to make sure that every time we get on track, we're doing our absolute best that at the end of the year, we have the best opportunity to succeed. So really, I think that, you know, we never stop looking ahead. We never stop preparing for the next race. Um, because as I said, every single race affects the next one and it's always important. I feel like I never stop preparing for my next race. Uh, I'm always thinking about it, but the week leading up to the race is, I, it gets that much more critical. I'm focusing on what I'm eating, my exercise, getting prepared physically, mentally, emotionally, so that when I get to the racetrack, all I have to focus on is getting in the car and doing my job. Everybody prepares differently. Um, you know, some drivers are, are very into the physical fitness side and, and some you know, tend to relax a little bit more and, and don't do as much of it. Um, you know, I, I love to be as physically fit as possible, uh, you know, just so you don't have to think about it. You know, when you're at a race and you, you know, you, you've got a sore hand or your legs are tired or, or anything like that, you know, with, with training hard, you, you don't have to focus on that stuff. You know, you can have an open mind and, and I love triathlon, so it's a great way to you know, prepare for races. This week, for instance, we have a race Sunday, and then we're racing Long Beach, other side of the country. Next Sunday, so you don't have much time to do that. I'm already thinking of the next race on the way home from the track. So, like the same thing a couple of weeks ago, yeah, I'm we won the race, got on the plane, I'm making notes about the car and how to improve for this weekend's race. So, it's always it's great to look back on the successes, but I think myself and every member of Team Target, as soon as this the race is over, it's on to the next one and try to win that. So, my preparation starts on the plane ride home from the previous race. Um, I do a small driver debrief for the team as soon as the, the race weekend's over, uh, either either on the plane ride home or the following morning when I get up because everything is fresh in your head. Uh, but really when I lay down on Sunday night uh, to go to bed, I start thinking about the next weekend. And I think about what happened the last time there and I get notes out and I read all that so I start making my brain uh, think about what what's coming up. Um, and I work out for about an hour a day, and I usually watch the two previous races from uh, last year. If we race there once, I'll just watch the, the one race, but if there's two, then I'll watch the spring and the fall race. Um, and just look at, at everything about <clears throat> the racing lines to where the leader ran, um, or if people got caught speeding on pit road, or if there were a lot of accidents on pit road. There's so many little things that you forget, um, or that when you're racing, you don't see that, uh, that you get to watch on TV. And I have a really hard time watching the races immediately afterwards. So when you get to have like a six months or a year break from it, then, uh, then I really enjoy watching those. Um, preparing to a race, it's different. It's weird because, you know, it's not like we show up Sundays and just race, you know, we're we're, it's an all weekend thing, you know. I normally 90% of the time I so show up the day before I drive the car and um, build from there. It was continual. I mean, you're continually prepared. I mean, you're continually. Racing is a lifestyle. I mean, it's a life choice. It's not like, okay, well, this week I'm going to work out. I mean, you're continually working out year after yeah. year after year and how you prep yourself and what you're eating and what you're doing and how you're presenting it. I mean, always you have that mentality of competition and fighting it. It's just, you know, just another stop along the way, but you're continually prepping yourself all the time. Just like we were saying earlier, uh, you asked us, how do you relax? And my answer was, well, I try to work out and do, you know, and which is something that it's still work for, for to perform on the racetrack, right? So you never really stop. Maybe there's a few weeks after the last race of the season where you disconnect 100% and you maybe take a two week rest or something. But the rest of the year, you're just getting ready for the next race, getting ready for the next day. You never stop.